How are you going guys? Mark here from Dino Paints. Welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'll be painting our Rainbow Mojo Hologram base coat over the top of our pure black as the ground coat. Now this color is fantastic. It's got that real vibrant uh, hologram effect once it goes outside or once it's got a direct light on top of it. It looks fantastic. You guys are gonna love it and it's super easy to paint too. So with the Hologram Rainbow Mojo base coat, we do recommend between that two to three coats, depending on what kind of effect or how silver you want it, depends on how many coats you should put on it. Now, I'm going for a silver kind of look, but of course having that hologram effect as well. So look, I'm gonna be applying between that three and four coats over the pure black. Uh, I'll be finishing it all off in our custom clear. I'll be doing a little bit of masking on the underside so I don't get any paint uh, underneath. With that said, let's jump into the video right now. soft edge that I like to do is basically I put my leg up there, we throw the tape on my knee and we just fold it over a little bit, we grab the end, you want to hold the tape like so, uh, put your thumb on the corner or the edge of the tape and you kind of just want to run it along just so you can get it started and then you can let the tape just slide through your fingers. like so, and you're left with that nice soft edge back mask on it, which is gonna serve a really great purpose for around the outside edge of this center cap. So, I wanna make enough to go all the way around. All right, and now all that I wanna do is basically just put it right on the edge. Um, you may have to pull it off and start another little bit around the, the twice of curves, but it should be pretty easy to get it started. So for here, we can probably do this little corner here, but when we go around the other side, it's gonna be pretty tricky to bend the tape around the way that we want it. So we'll just do it in a few little sections here, like that. Now this same uh, masking technique is used on the insides of guards, door jams, etc. when you're doing a closed door respray. Very handy uh, little technique, which can um, save you getting painters inside your door jams and on the insides of your panels. Um, not sure if you can see that, I know my arm's in the way, but... So yeah, it's just a matter of going round and doing this around the whole inside edge of this center cap. Now, ideally, you wanna have that soft edge nice and flat. If it's poking up like this, it's not gonna do its job. So uh, depending on how you lay it down, um, depends on how smooth it's gonna lay down. So uh, there's a few little like tips and tricks which you kind of pick up when you do put it down. Um, but yeah, that just gives you a bit of a guide as to what I'm gonna be doing in regards to the masking. <laughs> 